Hello my loves. Welcome to my closet. If you're new here, I'm Kelsey. Nice to meet you. We are working our way through Phoebe Bridger's Punisher album and we are on Savior Complex. So if you want any of the other videos from that album, go check out my Phoebe Bridger's playlist. Otherwise, let's get right into it. I like that. Whatever that like distortion is or something on those. Violin, oh that is it's so pretty. Call me when you win. I'll drive around again. One hand on the wheel, one in your mouth. Turn me on. Again, just the way she's saying this. I'm a bad liar to show me yours, I'll show you mine, the way she sings that bit. I mean, the whole song is beautiful, but... Bye. 
Okay, so emotional affair, overly sincere, smoking in the car, windows up, crocodile tears, run the tap till it's clear. I feel like maybe those are just fragmented images of kind of their relation, like moments in their relationship. Drift off on the floor, I drag you to the shore, sweating through the heat, you're going to drown in your sleep for sure. That kind of gave me imagery of like drug use maybe, um, or like maybe alcohol as well, like him being, him passing out on the floor and like sweating and, and her like having to take care of him. Um, wake up and start a big fire in our one room apartment, but I'm too tired to have a pissing contest. Um, the line, I really like all the bad dreams that you hide. Show me yours. I'll show you mine. Um, turn me on and turn me down. That line stood up, stood out. Hold on. Let me open genius. My laptop for some reason hates genius. I can't, I, it's too stressful for my laptop to have it open while I'm like switching back and forth. Maybe it's just too stressful for me, but okay. Emotional. Let's see what it says about the song. She says it's an emotional affair. She alludes to the idea of her partner having a close relationship with someone else and investing much more time, energy, and feelings with the other. This, along with the other lyrics, clearly point to a toxic relationship between her and her partner. Okay, so that's kind of... I was kind of thinking about that, but I forgot to mention the... Um, so the emotional affair, I did kind of catch on that that was with someone else. Overly sincere. Um, okay, so let's keep going. Codependents are often incredible people pleasers. Growing up in a chemically dependent guardian or sibling typically with unpredictable behavior, you learn to anticipate the needs and emotions of others for survival. Phoebe has stated that her dad was an alcoholic. Often when one parent is chemically dependent, the other parent is codependent. When you grow up in this environment, you learn to please others quickly and paired with a deep wound in terms of self-worth and lovableness, you begin to need the validation you receive from others when you please them. Okay. Um, smoking in the car, windows up. The speaker wants to roll the windows up to get herself and or the person she's consoling to tear up even more than might be legitimate. This way she can feed her savior complex even more. Oh, I did not put that together. This establishes how this savior can create problems so she can solve them. A point the speaker criticizes in herself. Smoke getting in your eyes is the point rather than the excuse for tears. Wow. Yeah, I totally get what she's saying. I just did not, I did not put that together at all. I was kind of feeling like the smoking in the car windows up was just kind of a, an imagery kind of to help you get, get an image of like their toxic, kind of like the toxic behavior that was going on in their relationship. Not just that the relationship itself was toxic, but that they, they kind of be engaged in behaviors together, um, that were toxic. So Thanks, genius. I really should have been doing this more for the other songs. Crocodile Tears is a false, insincere display of emotion. Um, I know what Crocodile Tears is. I just wanted to know what. Run the tap till it's clear. It's this part. This refers to turning on a faucet for the first time in a long time where the water is initially brown with rust and calcium, so you have to run the tap for a while to get the crap out. Here, Bridgers is using this image to reflect the way old junk gets released with emotional openness and honesty she's calling for. Oh, didn't get that either. Wow, okay. Drift off on the floor. This whole part. Uh, WebMD lists nightmares as one of the reasons that someone may have night sweats. Here, the subject is having a nightmare in which they are drowning, a theme that is believed to signify being overwhelmed by difficult emotions or anxieties. Oh, okay, so not drugs. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, nevertheless, I don't know why I keep reading, like, drug, drug stuff into Phoebe's music. I don't know. Sorry, Phoebe. I don't, I don't, like, assume, I, I don't know why I keep doing that. 
Nevertheless, Phoebe in her role as the savior is watching over the subject as they have drifted off on the floor and helps them by waking up from their nightmare of drowning in the ocean, dragging them to shore. Okay. What's this part? Wake up and start a big fire in our one room apartment. Most likely refers to Phoebe's partner picking fights, creating a volatile environment that is inescapable due to living in such a small space together. But I'm too tired of a pissing contest means both that she's too tired to throw insults back and forth, aka a pissing contest, as well as more metaphorically, she's too exhausted to in extinguish the fire her partner has set. Okay. So yeah, just lots of, you know, toxic relationship. Um, this part, one hand on the wheel and one in your mouth. Phoebe stated on Twitter that this is a line about picking someone up from the airport and the horny drive home before you have sex. Interesting. Call me when you land, I'll drive around again. One hand on the wheel, one in your mouth. Turn me on and turn me down. Let's hold. So it doesn't get to talk about the turn me on, turn me down part though. Why did she say turn me down? Sorry, I was reading her tweet. It has a picture of her tweet. And she says, picking someone up from the airport and the horny drive home before you have sex. Then why did you say turn me on and turn me down, Phoebe? Um, whatever. Okay, baby, you're a vampire. You want blood and I promised I'm a bad liar. I think I understand. Let's just see what it says. This verse is a ref reference to Phoebe's partner um, sucking the life out of her. In these four lines, Phoebe lays both of their problems out in the open in hopes of reconciliation. I'm a bad liar may refer to the end of Kyoto. Okay. Oh, oh I remember that one. Okay. With a savior complex, all the skeletons you hide show me your issues. Okay. I think, I think that's, that are, those were the ones that were, I need clarification on. So, um, very beautiful, very, very beautiful. I think that's, I have so many songs on this album that are kind of like tied for the top. Um, I think, sorry, I'm trying to get out of genius. I'll do this after that one was wonderful. I would tell you what one is next, but my, my, my laptop is still loading to try to get out of genius. So, um, thank you for being here as always. It's a pleasure and I'll see you in the next video. Love you all. See you later.